In this lecture, we are going to cover the Oracle Virtual Box. We will go through the download and the installation of Virtual Box. Now, as I said previously, the Oracle Virtual Box is is a virtual environment which allows you to run a multiple operating system on the same hardware. There are other uh, virtual platform that is available out there that you could use. You don't have to go with VirtualBox if you don't like it. You could use VMware Player, VMware Player Workstation, as well as other open source virtual environment. But anyway, I would prefer if you stick with Oracle VirtualBox, so this way we could go through the course together. All right, so I will go open up my Firefox browser so I could download the VirtualBox software. Um, you could use any browser you, you like. Then I'm going to the Google page, and in the Google page, I'm searching for Oracle VirtualBox. When you click on it, you're going to see the first link as Oracle VM Virtual Box. So you could click on it and then go to download, or you could go straight to the download page. All right, on the download page, you're going to see the section where it says Virtual Box version platform packages. Now, depending on when you are downloading this Virtual Box, the version will be higher, maybe if one, two, or or whichever the version at that time you're downloading it doesn't matter don't be confused oh the one I am showing you is 6.0 and the one you are seeing is a different version basically what we want at the end is a virtual platform that we could run our guest instances or guest operating system on it anyway if you are using the Windows as your main host wherever you will run the Linux CentOS as a VM then pick Windows um, host. If you are using OS X host, meaning if you are using Apple, then you could use this one for Linux, for Solaris, for other operating systems. You could pick depending on your requirement of your actual operating system. Go ahead and click on Windows host because I am running Windows host and that's where I'm going to run my virtual box. Now here it is asking me to save the file and you could click but I'm not going to click to save the file because I have already saved it to save some time. So um, if you have not saved it previously, so go ahead and click on this and it will ask you to the location to save it. So I'm going to cancel it since as I said I have already saved it. All right, I have my virtual box executable saved on my desktop and here is the executable. All I have to do is go ahead and double click so it could start the installation. So once you double click on it, it will ask you do you want to run this file? Click on run. Okay, now the wizard has started. It says, Welcome to the Oracle VM Virtual Box 6.0.14 setup virtual uh, setup wizard. The setup wizard will install Oracle VM Virtual Box on your computer. Click next to continue or cancel to exit the setup wizard. Go ahead and click next. Select the way you want features to be installed. So by default, the virtual box application has been selected and the other features that comes with it, I'm going to leave everything at default. And it also tells you the version installing the feature requires 227 megabyte that you should have on your disk. Uh, so go ahead and click next. Choose, please choose from the options below. Create a start menu entry, create a shortcut on desktop, create a shortcut on quick launch bar register file association um, I, I like them all leave them default except I don't like create a shortcut in quick launch bar so I'm gonna uncheck it again that's my preference you could leave all of them selected click next um, network warning network interface installing the Oracle VM VirtualBox networking feature will reset your network connection and temporarily disconnect you from the network proceed with installation so that's fine so make sure you are not connected to the internet or if you are make sure you're not doing any type of work that will that that you will lose so go ahead and click yes and click install to begin the installation install 
I am going to fast forward at this part because I don't want you to wait. I don't want to waste your time. So I'm going to just simply fi fast forward. Okay, so the Oracle VM Virtual Box installation is complete. Um, you can leave the check marks; so it will start it back again, uh, back up, and you can click on Finish. Congratulations, you have completed the download and the installation of Oracle Virtual Box. Now the next step is to create a test virtual machine, and then of course we will go ahead and do the actual operating system install on that virtual machine.